So we're going to talk a little bit about the size and types of uprate bases that you might run into when you're starting out. When I was a student, I basically borrowed an instrument that was a plywood instrument all through high school and even through college. I rented a plywood base. Uh, it's a pretty basic quality and depending on the type of weather that you live in, it's pretty solid and it's not going to break in sorts of uh, inclement weather if you're living in snow and rain and that sort of thing. I used to live in Boston, so having a plywood base was a really big advantage. Uh, you can find a pretty good quality instrument made by Shen, which is a great Chinese brand that makes plywood bases as well as other types of wood. That's going to be pretty good quality and get a good sound. If you're becoming a professional bass player, you want to consider a better type of wood for your instrument, but that's not something you really have to consider unless you're considering it professionally in college or joining an orchestra where you need something of a lot higher quality. If you're playing jazz or rockabilly or bluegrass or something like that, most of the time you're using a pickup, so that's going to be most of your sound through an amplifier anyway. Uh, in terms of sizes of basses, the three-quarter scale is what you're going to come across most often, and that's what most professionals use. You don't really need a full-size bass unless you're in an orchestra where there's no amplification involved. But if you're shorter or if you're a smaller person, you may want to consider a half-size bass or a different scale that fits your body type better and allows you to grow into the size of the instrument, as an upright bass is quite a beast, and it's good to be able to grow into it as you grow and get older.